Good evening. Uh, today we have a case presentation on postmenopausal bleeding. A 70-year-old female, para-3 living 3, sterilized postmenopausal, hailing from Chennai from low socioeconomic status came to OPD. Her chief complaints were complaints of abdominal pain since 2 months, complaints of occasional spotting since 2 months, complaints of fever, nausea, loss of appetite since 20 days, complaints of weight loss over 1 month, loss 5 kgs. No history of postcoital bleeding or PV dis discharge PV. History of presenting illness. Complaints of abdominal pain, lower, vague, sudden and onset, relieved on rest, non-radiating and increased on walking. Complaints of spotting PV, occasional from 20 days. No complaints of mass descending PV. Complaints of fever, nausea, loss of appetite since 20 days. No complaints of cough and sore throat. Complaints of weight loss over 1 month, lost 5 kgs. Menstrual history. Age of menarche, 12 years. Attained menopause 15 years back at the age of 55. Previously, regular menstrual cycles, 3 on 28 day cycle, 2 pads per day, no clots, no dysmenorrhea, no history of cycle suggestive of PCOD. No history of menopausal hormone therapy. Married for 45 years back, non-consanguineous marriage, no history of treated infertile, no history of ovulation induction drugs. Obstetric history. P1. Girl, 42 years, NVD healthy. P2. Boy, 40 years, NVD healthy. P3. Girl, 36 years, NVD healthy. Past history. Not a known case of diabetes mellitus, hypertension, bronchial asthma, epilepsy and thyroid. Family history. No history of breast, ovarian, colon or endometrial cancers in family. No history suggestive of BRCA1 and 2 mutations in family. No history of familial Lynch 2 syndrome. Personal history. No history of reduced sleep, loss of appetite, bowel and bladder are regular. On examination. She is thin built, moderately nourished, con conscious, coherent. Height is 155, weight is 50 kgs, BMI is 20.8. On examination, no pallor, itris, cyanosis, lymphadenopathy, edema, no supraclavicular nodes. Temperature is afebrile, vitals are stable, thyroid is normal, spine, no scoliosis, normal, breast, normal, CVS and RS, uh, no abnormalities. Per abdomen, inspection, no lump, no ascites, no engorged veins seen, all quadrants moving symmetrically with respiration. On palpation, abdomen soft, no mass, no organomegaly, hernia sites are free and dirty AT scar present. Local examination, genital, labia majora normal, labia minora atrophic, pubic hair sparse, PS, vagina cervix normal, no uterovaginal descent, no evidence of senile vaginitis. Speculum examination of the cervix, bimanual examination, PV, uterus antiverted, bulky, mid position, vaginal wall smooth, no adnexal mass or tenderness. PR, rectal mucosa smooth, freely mobile, parametrium normal, no nodules in pouch of Douglas, no blood on examining finger. PAP showed normal smear. USG shows bulky uterus, ET is 6.5 mm. RFT is normal. CT showed bulky uterus with thickened endometrium. So what is menopause and what is the mean age of menopause? A menopause, it is a cessation of ovarian activity and is clinically defined as cessation of menstruation over a period of 12 months. Age of menopause is 45 to 50 years, average it is 47 years. Age of menopause is not related to lactation, number of pregnancy, use of oral pills or socioeconomic status. Thinner women get menopause early. Severe malnutrition and cigarette smoking can get early menopause. Okay, so what is climacteric? Um, climacteric is a physiological period in women's life during which there is regression of ovarian function. Covers a wide period 5 to 10 years on either side of menopause. Okay. So, what, what are the ways you will do the menopausal workup? Um, first, we will give counselling to the patient. Uh, also, we will suggest exercise and diet, lifestyle modification, history of risk factors for osteoporosis. We will check for history of diabetes mellitus, hypertension, history of any drug intake, history of coronary artery disease, familial history of any be breast cancer, pap smear at initial visit and then yearly we will have to take pap smears, TBS, mammography, breast self-examination monthly, clinical breast examination once a year, serum FSH and serum estradiol are not necessary to make a diagnosis of menopause. Okay. So, what are the contraindications of menopausal uh, hormone replacement therapy? And the contraindications are uh, unexplained vaginal bleeding, past history of any breast or endometrial cancers, past history of any venous thrombosis, any hypertriglyceridemia like oral estrogens may precipitate pancreatitis, any chronic liver disease, uh, family history of premenopausal breast cancer. Yeah. So, in all these conditions, we should never give estrogen or progesterone containing replacement therapy. Yes, so, what are the factors which influence the age of menopause? 
Um, occurs one year earlier in smokers, yes. also it's earlier in nulliparous women. Mm. Ovarian cystectomies or uh, unilateral oophorectomies, mm. ovarian drilling done for PCOD, pelvic radiotherapy or chemotherapy in Indian women so as such. It can happen early. earlier. Okay. So, what are the menopausal symptoms you know of? And there are vasomotor uh, symptoms like hot flushes, sweating, insomnia, irritability, mm. depression, mm. emptiness syndrome, mm. urogenital symptoms, dysuria urge and stress incontinence called as urethral syndrome and vaginal dryness. There is also osteoporosis, there are certain skin changes and also coronary vascular disease can be seen. Okay, so how does estrogen prevent cardiovascular disease? Uh, it increases HDL, it mm. decreases LDL and total cholesterol, it inhibits platelet and macrophage aggregation at vascular intima, release of nitric oxide and prostacyclins from vascular endothelium to dilate the blood vessels. It also prevents atherosclerosis by its antioxidant property. Yeah, so uh, estrogen is protective against myocardial infarction or heart attacks. Yes. So what is premature menopause or premature ovarian failure? Um, it's uh, menopause before 40 years. Mm. Causes may be idiopathic, surgery, mm. chemotherapy, radiotherapy, genetic, gonadal dysgenesis like Turner's syndrome. Okay. So, what is delayed menopause and what are the causes of delayed menopause? Menopause which fails to occur even after 55 years is delayed menopause. Mm. The causes are constitutional, could be due to uterine fibroids, diabetes, estrogenic tumor of ovary. Like granular cell tumor. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, how will you do the risk factor assessment during menopause? Ma'am, I will look for any prior fractures, uh, mm. low bone mineral density, advancing age, if there is any family history of osteoporosis, mm. height loss of more than 1.5 inches, vitamin D deficiency, low calcium intake, tobacco use, alcohol uh, more than 7 hours per week, weight loss and low body weight. Okay, so all these are high risk factors for osteoporosis. Yes. Okay, so what is perimenopause? It's a period of average 7 years duration which begins with a decline in ovarian function in women in 40s and continues till she has not had a menstrual period for 1 year. Okay, so 7 years before and 1 year, one year during after. the yes. menopause. Okay, so what is the menopausal staging given by Sir Dr. Behran and Glaceria? And there's stage 1. This phase is between 3 to 5 years starting from the earliest perimenopausal symptom mm. to menstrual cessation mm. like vas vasomotor instability or menstrual irregularity. Mm. Stage 2, 5 years after the menopause, mm. there's 2A, a period of 1 year from the time of cessation of menses, mm. that is vasomotor instability and urethral syndrome mm. and stage 2B, a period of 4 years after stage 2A. There is a stage 3, a period from 5 years after menopause till lifetime. Mm. 3A is residual atrophic symptoms, 3B is ischemic heart disease and early osteoporosis mm. and 3C is cardiovascular changes and Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so what are the drugs used in HRT and their advantages and risks? 